Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be opening and assembling the Lego Marvel Infinity Saga sets 76260 Black Widow and Captain America motorcycles. Basically they've um, they just put Black Widow and Captain America in on, on the, um, onto motorbikes, on, on, onto, onto built motorbikes and so basically, basically it's two figures and two motorbikes but they they have been accessorised properly, which is which is actually quite good. And and Black Widow does seem uh, does seem to come with a gun as well, which is quite cool. Cap comes with his shield, as you can see. And it's quite it is quite a big box. It is retailing about uh, about the thirteen pound mark, which is a bit on the high side. I think I think they could have done these maybe done maybe done these as poly bags. I reckon like. Um, they could, they could have done these as poly bags, really, but I think you are paying what what they, what, what we what we call the what, what us collectors call the Disney tax, basically. So, which means because it's got Marvel written on it and Captain America and Black Widow, you got to pay a bit more for the um, trade for, for the trademark. So, I think that's what's happened here, but don't quote me on that. But overall, overall, it does it does look quite a good set actually, and for, base, for basically for what it is. I did pick it up at a good price, so I can't really complain. We'll open the box up. See if it comes with two bags or one. It does come with two bags, but and two sets of instructions as well. We have instruction for the Black Widow bike and instruction for the Captain America bike. But you've got two, you've got you've got two bags with the with all the bits in by the looks of things. So we might not have no, we haven't. No, there is one bike in each bag by the looks of it. So I stand corrected. The Black Widow's bag does seem to be a bit smaller, but we won't we won't, we won't go too far into into that um, discussion. But we'll, we'll get on with Captain America's bike because he is bag number one. Open the bag up here. I'm kind of hoping you have Captain America walking you through the instructions on here because that's always a nice little touch. It's a six plus set as well, so so it's aimed at the slightly younger audience as well. The ones who should be um, the six year old when you're at six, you you usually start you usually start to use proper bricks. And you've usually got got Lego city sets and stuff like that by the time you see. Well, I did anyway. You've usually got past the um, the um, Duplo stage. So, so yes, and we have got Captain America walking us through the instructions on this little in this little book, which is quite nice. So first of all, we'll build Cap. We'll build Cap. So he does have plain blue legs, which is a bit, a little bit of a disappointment. You could do with like a, like a back, a thing on his back to hold his shield. That would be quite nice. He has a chin strap. He has a smiling face for combat and a chin strap on there. Of course, Captain America has a motorcycle helmet. So I have his chin strap on there, like so. He has his shield. Like that. And there we have our Captain America figure. It does look quite good, quite a nice little figure. I'm not sure if it's been released before, but he also comes with his, he also comes with a hairpiece as well. I'll show you with his hairpiece, so you've got to turn him around and Yes, it comes with a hairpiece as well, so that's that's always handy to have. But we'll keep his motorcycle helmet on there. Put cap there, so um, we'll have him supervise me. Make, um, make 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 sure I do it properly. So we start off with a green two, a green two by four base plate and a a green. 
a green two by two with a with, with, with some connector bars put on the side. So just a molded piece really, so. That goes on there like so. Then you put, I'm gonna put another one of those on the other side. Goes on there like so. Then you have two black two by two right angle base plates. Have two grey grey metallic studs. So that's that's the chassis of the bike so far. And you have two two green two by two right angled base plates, which are these ones here. And two and two grey two by one right angle base plates. Go on there like so. And then you have a a blue four by two base plate with two two by one upside down roofing pieces molded to it. Goes on there like so. Then you have two what two brown one by four base plates which go on top. And two more of the metallic metallic grey studs. They go on there like so. Then you have a another metallic grey stud which goes on the side, and then you have a stud shoot. A, then you have a stud shooter which goes on the side here. So you've got. The stud shooter, which is attached to a two by two by one base plate, or moulded to, I should say. And you put the trigger bit in there, like so. Put the trigger bit in there. That goes on that side there. Then you've got a dark blue two by two by one curved roofing piece, which goes on the side like so. And then you have a A grey metallic stud which goes on the other side. So it's pretty much the same again. So we so we got the stem, got the stud shooter. Which goes on there and another dark blue two two by one curved roofing piece. So so that's now it's the same on both sides, trying to show you that. Same on that as that side there. So that's a mirror image. So we flip this over. I have I have two dark blue cheese pieces which go on the on the bottom. Like so, as you can see. Next one 
next you have two of these Technic, Technic three round studs with a, a, a flange on the outside there to, to hold it in place. So just push them through. Push them through, just push them through just like that for the time being. Now we've got to put the wheels on. So we've got one of these wheel pieces and a rubber tire. So push these on, put, put the wheels on the bike. So the wheels are on there, they've been pushed all the way through. Next you have two of these black two, two by two right angle base plates. Two more of the gray metallic studs which go on each side. And two more of the two of the two by one curved roofing pieces. Go on like that. Then you have a black two by two right angled base plate. And then you have a, a, black two, a black two by one base plate with a female connector, connector point on it. Oh, move that up there. Then a dark blue two by one flat with a stud in the middle. And a clear, and a clear, a clear stud, clear round stud goes in the middle there. So you've got, it looks, should look like that, and that goes on the front here. And they have a blue arch piece like this. And then you have two of the um, air traffic control bat or the air traffic what I call air traffic control batons for handlebars. Which go back and then there's a a grey two by a grey two by one printed um, printed flat. With, cur with curved edges on. That's a nice little piece, that. It's got all the um, dials on it. That is a quite a nice little piece and it should be used more often. I'm hoping they will. So that goes on there like so. It kind of makes up for the, it kind of makes up for the cost a little bit on, the, on that, I mean, that little bit. Next we make the, um, the bit that goes on the back of the bike. So we have, that starts off as a dark blue, or purple, we'll call it dark blue. Dark blue three, three by two base plate. A, a dark blue two by one cheese piece, which goes on the back. Two of these green two by ones Two by ones with a female. Two by ones with, with, with two female connector pieces on. 
but these go on here like so. Have a brown. Now we have a, a, a darker gray. So it's a darker gray gold bar piece. And then we have two of these blue. It's like a cheese piece with a with with a one square stud moulded to it. That goes on. Oh, nearly lost it. Good reflexes. That goes on there like so. So that's what we got. That. Turn that around. And you should have that metal bar piece which goes on there. Goes on there like so. Then you have two, two panniers. Oh, I've done it wrong. You are wood. Yeah. Got a bit excited with the build. Do that back on there now. And make two brown panniers with a. So it's a, it's a two it's a two by one base plate with a male connector bar on the top and a male. And a pardon my language, pardon that. And a and a brown metal bar piece, which go on the side to make the the panniers on the on the side. And we have stud shooters on here, so you can put these studs in. Put the studs in like that, and then they fire out. And we'll see if we see if we'll see if they work, shall we? I'll fire it into my hand and see if it works. Yes, it does work. It's fired it all over there. It's quite efficient, so no complaints on that whatsoever. So I'm not keen on these stud shooter things because that's a, um, that's how you lose your Lego, but. I, but I can, but I can, but I can see the, the play value of it. So, and you put Captain America puts his shield on the front here, shield goes on there like so. He stands up, he seems to stand up on this bike to ride it. That's the thing about these, I do like these, I like these bikes a little bit, but they do tend to be um, a bit, a bit on the big side really here. So you got, that, 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 is, Cap, that is Captain America's bike. So I will probably leave the video here and then, and, and, and then do Black Widow's bike on, an, on, a, on a separate video, so. It does look like it's less parts, so but I will be doing that on a separate video. So as you can see, that is Captain America's bike. It does look it looks okay. The handlebars, he can't act. I'm trying to work out how he's supposed to reach the handlebars on this thing, because the way it's designed, he, he can't reach the handlebars. So, but overall, overall, it's, overall, it's not not a bad little build, really. So that so so that is Captain America's bike. So. Not too bad. Does look does look okay. The panniers. It is a good design. It's the bike's a good design. It's not really designed for for these figures though. So it's not a bad it's, it's not a bad little set either. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. How many comments or feedback in this video? Do feel free to add them at the end of the video. I'll try to give mention my upcoming videos. Stay.
stay safe, keep building, and make mine marvel. Hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.